Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, we had the pandemic, of course, but now we have another pandemic. It's called stress and anxiety. We'll be talking to a leading national expert next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. So I have a confession to make. For 25 years, I was a television reporter. And if you think about the stress on a TV reporter, it's just insane. You're on deadline. I remember being in the live truck, uh, editing a piece ready for the 10 o'clock news. The phone is ringing and it's the TV station wanting the piece. And I remember telling myself a story and I think it was a false story. I told myself I'm addicted to stress. I wouldn't want a regular job where there was no stress. The reason I say that it's a false story is now I'm the owner of a television network and very successful PR firm, and I love having a stress-free free life. Uh, somebody who knows this very well is a good friend of mine, Julie Hutchinson. She joins us from our Austin Bureau. She's the CEO of Core Performance. Julie, thanks for coming on the show. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm blown away by you because I had the good fortune. I'm a member of EO Dallas, and so that's Entrepreneurs Organization. I went over to EO Fort Worth for an event last week at the Colonial Country Club, and Julie was our speaker, and I was absolutely blown away. So, um, Julie, tell us a little of your backstory, because before you became a coach, uh, you were in the rat race. You were on that hamster wheel, weren't you? I was. I was actually the fifth employee of a company in Austin, Texas, by the name of Somnio Solutions. And we wanted to be on the Inc.'s 5,000 fastest growing companies. And we did that in about two and a half years. Now, that sounds pretty nice and great with a startup company. But I will tell you that during that time, I was stressed. I was burnt out. I experienced some anxiety. And when I went to the doctor, they basically said that your adrenal glands are shot, your cortisol levels are through the roof because you're experiencing so much stress. And I knew I had to do something different. And what was considered traditional techniques just were not working for me. And that's how I discovered what I do now. And that's when I launched my business many, many years ago. And let's drill down a little deeper. So um, cortisol, it's fight or flight, right? So we are just wired to either um, run away from the dinosaur, <laughs> right? Um, so tell us about how cortisol and being in a, in a state of anxiety all the time can take a toll on your body. Yeah, I, you know, first of all, I will say that when we hit the fight or flight, and fight or flight is the natural response from the body when we hit a stressful event or when we experience anxiety or even depression. And when we hit that fight or flight response, it does activate the adrenal glands and the cortisol is then pumped in from the adrenal glands into the body. And what happens is we get this jolt of energy based on the fight or flight response. And when we hit that energy, the body wakes up and the body starts to feel alive. Well, the problem with that is that we want that energy more and more and more. And you said it perfectly when you started this show, you said you realized that you were addicted to stress. Now, what a lot of people don't understand is that we do become addicted to stress if we're continuously in that fight or flight. We just become used to it. It's kind of like the frog in the boiling pot of water. We just think that that's normal and we go about our day and then our body is living in this state of fight or flight and it never comes back down into homeostasis and balance. And when that happens, we have trouble sleeping, we have trouble concentrating, we're continuously agitated, our mind starts to think these negative thoughts, and it just becomes this vicious cycle that we're not able to stop. Yes, and you've created an amazing company. We're gonna show your website, and as we scroll down the website, let's talk about the kinds of groups that you like to work with. 
Um, and I know you work with C-suites and CEOs and entrepreneurs. So you also work with companies. Uh, talk more about uh, the, the, the folks that you coach. Yeah, so primarily we work with leaders, executives, and military personnel, people who seemingly are very happy from the outside. Their life looks great. They're successful. They have a nice family, but on the inside, they feel like they're drowning because they've been living in this fight or flight for a long time. They're managing companies. They're making decisions very, very quickly. And what happens behind the scenes is they're not sleeping through the night. They wake up and usually their mind is going nonstop. They can't get back to sleep. They have a hard time making decisions. They have negative internal dialogue, while at the same time, their outward performance is seemingly very smooth and very successful, but on the inside, they're not thriving. Yes. And you talked quite a bit at that speech about being in the flow. So you think about a corporate executive who's under a lot of stress. Even if he or she is hiding that from the team, the team picks up on it, can't, can't they? Very much so, because what we teach is we teach not only strategies and tactics, when and why to do something and how to do something, but we also teach about principles. And what we mean by principles is these are the principles of the laws that govern the universe. And one of the things that we teach about is the principles of energy and the principles of the human body, how the brain and the body work together. And inside of these principles, what we teach people is that if your energy underneath is one of worry, fear, stress, anxiety, what's happening inside the body is you are in a state that we call incoherence, meaning the nervous system is out of sync. But on the outside, you may be saying nice things and appearing to be calm, but research shows that when a person is in an incoherent state inside their nervous system, that can be detected by others in our immediate vicinity. Yes, and you, people can pick up on that. Julie, you're an out, uh, outstanding speaker. I found a speaker reel on the internet. Let's go ahead and roll that now. We now know that up to 80% of primary care doctor visits are stress-related. So imagine if what you were feeling when you were feeling that negative emotion through your body if you never let that go and it was running in the background day after day, week after week, month after month, you think you might develop one of these symptoms up here? This is what leads to chronic disease states. So I think on Todd's slide, it said 77% of your workers are stressed. Imagine if we could reduce stress, could we reduce primary care doctor visits? The answer is yes, because by reducing this kind of stress, we start to get the body back to operating in what we call a coherent state. So Julie, you took us through an exercise last week when we were all together at uh, the Colonial Country Club, because I think you made the point that it's not like during a meeting you can go into a yoga pose, <laughs> but you can, you can um, actually change your um, energy um, just by breathing. Will you explain how that works? Yes, this technique that I'm going to share with you right now is something that can be done anytime, anywhere, especially when you feel the negative effects of stress, anxiety, or depression. And it is meant to do something that we call self-regulation. And self-regulation will help to bring your energy back into this state that we call coherence. It's all about how the autonomic nervous system works. Would you like me to take you through the actual technique? Let's do it. Okay. So I'm going to invite everybody that's listening to this. Probably easier if you close your eyes for the first time, because when your eyes are closed, you can really feel what's happening inside your body. And so for those of you that are listening, just go ahead and close your eyes for one moment. Bring your attention into your body and just notice how you're breathing. Notice how you're feeling. Notice if you have tension anywhere in your body. It's just becoming aware of where we are in this particular moment. And now I'm going to invite you to shift your attention to the area around your heart. You can put your hands on your heart if you would like to help hold your attention here. With your attention on your heart, we're going to begin what we call heart-focused breathing. I'm going to invite you to take a deep inhale through your nose. 
You're going to deep exhale through your nose. And you're going to imagine that this breath is flowing in and out of your heart or chest area. You're breathing deeper and slower than normal. And as you're finding this rhythmic breath, what's actually happening is you're changing the way the heart beats. By slowing down our breath, we're changing the heart rate variability, inhaling deeply and then exhaling deeply. For many, you may begin to start to feel a little bit of a shift inside your body just by self-regulating the heart rhythms. And now I'm going to invite you to access a renewing emotion. This can be peace, love, joy, happiness. The key is to feel this emotion. Don't just think about it. Feel it and breathe this emotion in and out of your heart or chest area. This emotion we call energy in motion. Emotion such as peace. Breathing the feeling of peace in and out of your heart. And now you should start to be able to feel an even bigger shift inside of your nervous system. You may feel some of your thoughts calming down. And the key is to keep breathing this feeling in and out of your heart. Noticing a difference inside your body. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and open your eyes. Julie, that's beautiful. Well, I think one of the things that we all do is we start running a recording in our mind. So you had an unpleasant conversation and we replay that, you know, 500 times. It wasn't the unpleasant conversation that did the damage. It's the fact that you replayed it 500 times. So talk about the, um, the power of gratitude and the power of um, self-affirmations. Okay. Yeah, that's such a good point that you bring up because so many of us will rehash these conversations. And a point that I'd like to just make is that our brain will auto-suggest thoughts equal to how we feel. So if you're rehashing something negatively, a negative thought will lead to a negative emotion, frustration, worry, anger. And then you end up in this thought, feeling, feeling, thought loop, and they support one another. So the key is, is that when you are feeling this way and you get in that loop, if you can just find something to appreciate, and it could be the littlest things, it could be appreciating the ability to just go and get a cup of water, appreciating the fact that we live in this beautiful world that we have right now, just appreciating something in your life. And as soon as you do that, the key is to feel the appreciation Maybe it's the love for a pet or a child or your spouse. And when you go into that feeling of appreciation, remember your brain will auto suggest thoughts equal to how you feel. So that gratitude or appreciation will have you start to think different thoughts so that you can start to change the physiology of the body. And when you start to feel that change of the physiology in the body, you're now you're operating at an optimal level, what we call coherence. Wow. You are so powerful. She also has, um, I, I like to brag uh, about guests who give away the gold. So it's not like you have to buy Julie's programs in order to get wisdom from her. She has so much content uh, freely available on YouTube. I found a, a great video. Let's go ahead and roll that now. Are you a leader or executive who is at the top of their game? You've got a great job, a great title, a great family, but inside you feel like you're drowning. Perhaps you feel overwhelmed, maybe burned out, not sleeping at night, maybe developing chronic disease states, and yet you're caught in the conventional ways to deal with this, diets, exercise, medication, with no real relief. Well, if this is you, I have good news. There is a better way. And I'd like to invite you to my upcoming live webinar where I debunk the traditional methods of dealing with stress, overwhelm, burnout, and chronic disease states and show you a science-backed step-by-step system that has been used with numerous leaders and executives throughout the world, the military, and special forces. 
to help them overcome stress, burnout, and overwhelm. And in this webinar, I'm going to break down the step-by-step -step process that you can get immediate relief from. So if this is you and you would like to try non-conventional ways that work and get results real time, real results, real fast, then I'm going to encourage you to click on the link in the comment below and join our upcoming live webinar where I'm going to teach you this strategy so that you can thrive to even greater levels than you ever dreamt possible. See you in the live webinar. Well, Julie, I need to compliment you on your, your energy is just perfect. <laughs> I mean, I, like your, your, uh, your voice is very melodic, very soothing. I mean, has that always been uh, your, your state of flow when you were back in your corporate days? Did you have the same uh, melodic voice? I would say no. It certainly wasn't. I was a very stressed out executive and I learned these techniques to find that greater flow and that peace inside. And when you find that, you just kind of chill out a little bit more. And so I've been able to access that state quite often, every day actually. And so that has definitely shifted for me. Absolutely. Well, I know you have dozens and dozens of success stories. Um, can you give a couple to us? Uh, yes, actually, one of my favorites, I was working with an executive, he's a vice president of customer service, and for many, many years, he was very stressed in his business. And after practicing the techniques that we teach, literally in four weeks, he came to me after practicing these techniques, and these techniques, you practice them 10 to 15 minutes a day, and then you incorporate them through your day. In four weeks, he came to me and he said, I have not woken up happy on a Monday in 25 years. So imagine that. He always had the Sunday night blues, woke up stressed out, anxiety on Monday, and is no longer waking, that, waking up that way. 25 years. Pretty, pretty amazing. This is how fast it can shift. Unbelievable. Tell us another one. Well, I have so many of them, and I'll, I'll share another one with you. This is a client of mine, Brent, who has 15 different companies. He's a serial entrepreneur, and he's always looking to buy and sell different companies, and he just loves the adrenaline rush of that. And he used to listen to podcasts at 1.8 speed because he just had to get more and more and more and do, 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 do. And after practicing what we taught him and self-regulating the nervous system to get into that state of flow, He's not in that rush mode anymore. He said, I don't have to listen to podcasts at 1.8 speed. I feel comfortable and I feel at peace inside of my body. And the other thing that I think was just really beautiful about what he shared is that he is much more present with his family, especially he's got three young children. And he said, when I'm with my children, I'm with my children. I'm not in my head thinking about business or what I need to do. I'm fully and completely present with my family. And to me, that just really warmed my heart to know that this successful businessman is now fully and completely present with his family. Wow. I love the miracles that you're performing every day. And, and I will just say that a person, you know, we do business with people we know, like, and trust, and we all kind of pick up on each other's energy. And if you have like a energy that comes from stress or worry or anxiety, it's actually kind of a repellent. <laughs> it's the opposite of, of, a, of a sweet cologne, isn't it? So Julie, talk about the idea that if they invest in, in one of your programs or invite you in to speak, I mean, the, the ROI is just off the charts, I'm imagining. It's definitely off the charts is because we do talk about the principles of energy. And if everything is energy and people can detect energy, whether they know it or not, on the subconscious level, a lot of that's happening that when people can self-regulate their energy and fully connect with the person that they're talking with and be in a in a what we call a higher frequency energy of peace love joy happiness there tends to be different collaboration that happens and so we teach companies to take first individual responsibility of each employee to self-regulate their energy to move from stress into peace and then once a person can do that and self-regulate on their own then we talk about group coherence where you can bring all the employees of a company or an organization whether it be military nonprofit, or or corporations you can bring the entire group of people together in this flow state otherwise known as coherence and when that happens we tend to see a lot of magic actually because the energy is shifted wow so powerful. I could, I could listen to you all day. We've got a minute left. Uh, final thoughts. What would you like to leave people with? 
You know, what I'd like to leave people with is that a lot of the ways of dealing with stress and anxiety requires something outside of yourself. Go do exercise, go change your diet, do something different. And really the magic happens inside. It's not out there. It's in here. And when you have the tools to understand how the human body and brain work together and to biohack or self-regulate the autonomic nervous system, that's when you are always in control no matter what is around you. So we say you would be able to find coherence in the midst of chaos no matter what's happening because you know how to self-regulate inside. And wow. that's the key. Julie, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom. And uh, uh, you talked about gratitude. I am grateful for you. Uh, we're going to leave you with her website, which is coreperformance.us. Uh, the great Julie Hutchinson. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time. Thanks.